It seems like you guys have just a ton of weapons. Like, yeah. what's it feel like being out there and just, you know, all kinds of guys that can make plays on the ball? Yeah, no, it feels good. Uh, you know, every time we do one-on-ones or just rest while I'm not on the field with them, I like watching them to take things from their game. But it's definitely nice. And uh, on top of that, being able to take things when they're bad, they just bring it like another side of, uh, you know, it's a lot more competitive with everyone in the room just making plays. So it at least makes you want to take that next step in your game. Yeah. Uh, Kenny said, as long as we don't take negatives, we'll throw the ball a lot on first down. Yeah. Obviously, you guys are out four wide, like, yeah. a lot. What does that feel like for sure, you? It feels real good to have a coach confidence in not only in your abilities, but just in, in passing the ball in general. You know, in the past, I thought we were running heavy, but we definitely ran the ball more than we passed it, I feel like. So it's nice, you know, coming in and having that change of senior, you said, like, or like you said, with Coach Dunham. It has to feel like you guys have the ability nah, definitely. to put up a lot of points and definitely. yards. More than points, yeah, but I say yards, too. More points, more yards, more everything. I just feel like it's really going to be a more explosive offense in general. And it's hard for any defense to be able to key on yeah. one or two guys yeah. with what you guys can put on the field together. Yeah, with X coming in, the tight end stuff, the way you guys are moving everybody around. What's that feel like? Yeah, and that also feels good, too, because not only does it help them or it help us, you know, with being able to disguise and not be able to key in, but also get to move outside rather than just always being in a slot, always being covered up by somebody else outside so I can get more. Um, more it feels like one-on-one -on -one matches on the island rather than having to work through the crowd of a defense. Yeah, and, and the ball comes out quickly still. Uh, what's that like just knowing you got to get your head around? Yeah. It might be coming at you. No, I, I like it, honestly, because the quicker we get the ball, the quicker we can turn the field and make a move. So, you know, it's like the, the little things where if we go one yard too deep, one yard too short, it, it messes up your run after catch. So the fact that we're, you know, we're more detail-oriented and the ball's getting out quicker just really helps you with run after catch. So more yards after the catch, yeah. even with the ball coming yeah. out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, literally, because, you know, you catch the ball rather than you catching it with with the defense, you know, one yard, you know, making a step and hitting you, you catch it, you got three yards in between where you can straighten them up, make a move left and right. Sure. Uh, what has X brought to the fold? X definitely brings speed. Uh, he had the brand, I think, on uh, 23 or 24 almost. So he definitely brings a lot of speed. I like his bag. I like how he uses his stem when he gets to the top. So I think he definitely brings a, a different dynamic, you know, another true deep threat to the team. And then Quan's and another sort of shifty underneath guy. Yeah. With, what's, he, what's he like? Nah, Quan Su, he, he's really good. Uh, like you said, a short, uh, shifty uh, underneath guy, you know, he good at getting to the chains, good at running the underneath option routes, the, the short routes. The, but he also got that burst on too where he can take him over top deep and I think he kind of has some sneak athleticism. You know, he goes over tops, make big plays and things like that. I think they're both some uh, super good players who came to the program. So what are like some of the most important things you guys have to focus on and work on moving forward? Yeah, uh, I really think it's like little things. It's this thing called non-negotiables in a room, uh, stance and starts, you know, just straight when we're tired, you know. We think we're tired, but there's another level of getting tired to it. And if our coach sees us that tired, knowing we're going to come out so we can trust, like getting to that point. You know, like I said, uh, to go back to little things with details and just like the depths of your routes and things like that, I really think it's the little things I've really been really preaching lately because like, yeah, you don't want to mess up, but at the same time, it's a new office and everything like that. So a bit more, um, bit more lenient with messes right now as long as you're giving your full effort, if that makes sense. Yeah, is that, so is that samples and non-negotiables? Yeah, sam the non-negotiables is sampling, yeah. I I'm not sure about the other rooms, but as far as our meetings, when we get to receiver, yeah, there's a part that's like, uh, practice emphasis and then like non-negotiables out there every day if that makes sense. What's, and what's on that list? The non-negotiables is like the little things like the stance of stars just being competitive straining when you're tired like once you think you're tired just take it to that next level of tired because then you get your sub and just like I said little things like that. He's he's really young but Kenny's spoken so highly of him what what stands out about him? Yeah uh, definitely his energy you know he comes in the room like he, he says he has a mood where he's not up and down he's kind of just that one mood but that one mood he's always you know up going always energetic but, but the thing I like the most is he's honest with people he'll tell you what you need to work on he'll tell you where he sees you at he tells you like what he expects and what the reps and everything like that i really like how, how transparent he is with everybody in the room what do you think he, is, he expects from you yeah uh, i really just think one with me being an older guy you know leadership coming in helping the younger guys even the guys who are older just younger than me really just you know being that voice in the room and keeping people motivated and things like that but then really just making plays on the field kind of competing and just being active all the time where, where do you think you're going to be better this year than last year? Yeah, uh, definitely my uh, run after catch. I think last year after I caught the ball sometimes, uh, I just left some money on the field, you know, with it being two years and not getting some live game match. And I just feel like every week I was literally getting more and more up the pace. And I feel like not only with that year in my belt, but with the new coaching staff coming in, the way we practice and train, I just really think it's going to take my game to the next level. Is that situational, like feeling where defenders are going to be? Definitely and situational, but more just, I think being confident, to be honest. You know, I, I think it kind of took me a little bit to get my feet in, like get my feet wet and feel comfortable in the games and things like that. So I really just feel like like over time that's the thing that comes naturally so i feel like i have that quick and short air burst it's just like i said just experience mm -hmm.